we are going to create a very basic Node.js website. We're gonna try and keep this as basic as absolutely possible. So no external Node packages, just plain Node.js and a couple HTML files. So to start, I've got a couple files here that I'll just go through. So first we have our index page. It's just a plain HTML file with, a, with our basic HTML tags and a little bit of content. And then I have a second page, another plain basic HTML page with our basic tags and a little bit of content. So all we need to do now is create our node app and it just needs to filter in web page request to the proper HTML page. So I have an app.js file here and let's start coding this. So to start, I'm going to include a couple Node.js libraries. I'm going to use HTTP to get a server up and running. I'm going to use URL to parse my URLs and I'm going to use the file system to import my HTML. So to start, let's just get a server up and running. So I'm going to create a server. I'm going to create a argument for my request and my response. And I'm going to run my server on port 8080. Uh, for now, let's just get something showing up. So I'm going to take my response and write a 200 header. And I'm going to just add some content. So for now, just a hello world message. So I'm going to run that and take a look. And there is my page so far. So now instead of just saying hello world, I want to take the URL and redirect it to the appropriate page. So if the URL is index.html, I want to load my index file. To start, I'm going to create a variable called Q and I am going to take the requested URL and parse it. Then from the URL, I want to parse out the file name. And for now, let's just see what we get. All right, so when I refresh my page, we get index.html. So our code is successfully receiving the URL and parsing out the file name. Next, I want to know if that file exists. So I'm going to run the read file function using the file name that we just parsed out. And upon completion, I am going to run a function and inside that function I'm going to say if there is an error I want to display a 404 message um, if there is not I want to display the page so in here let's just do our 404 error code so I'm going to take my response I'm going to write a 404 Header. And for now, let's just display a 
that 404 not found error. However, if there is no error, if the file was found successfully, I want to write a successful header. Then I am going to add the data of our read file function to our response. And then I can take out my hello world. So now if we run that one and I refresh this request, and we just have one error here I just put in right head instead of right so let's try that again and refresh and there's my working page now if I put in here a bad URL say I forget the L on HTML I get my page not found if I put the L back in my page works and if I click on this link it now loads another page okay, so that is working my app.js is basically waiting for our request. When a request comes in, it parses out the file name from the URL and looks for a matching file name um, in the actual directory. If it finds one, it loads it. If it doesn't, it displays a 404 error message. So this is about as basic as you can get with a Node.js website. Um, at this point, we're not actually doing anything that re really requires Node.js. That couldn't be done with plain HTML. But it's a start, and as you integrate more and more Node.js features, you can start doing a lot of things that you can't do with plain HTML.